can rich people be good people? Now I've had this conflict for a very long time in my life. And I was pretty much convinced that no, rich people cannot be good people. But literally right before I started recording this video, I was just reflecting on it. I was like, do I really think this? Let me let me really analyze it. Let me really like dissect it, right? Because the main base, like the main, yeah, like the base for my view of that, of why I think <clears throat> or thought, <laughs> spoilers, I don't think that anymore. But why I thought that rich people couldn't be good people was because how can you pretend to be good, right? Because you donated or did something good right you did a, a good act right while you still have all these millions of dollars that you use for jewelry for luxury for luxury cars luxury homes you know for all these unnecessary you know assets like my like my philosophy right like my id my idea of a good person right if you're gonna put that label if you're gonna go throwing around like oh i'm a good person or what, what whatever like if you need a car then just get the car you need you don't need a two hundred thousand dollar car <laughs> you could do with you could deal with a 30 40 50 thousand let's push it that way right but with the rest of that money with the rest of that let, let's say that 150k what are you gonna do with that money just just put it on a car or are you gonna actually use it to help other people and be this good person that you're preaching? So that's where I was like, nah, this is the, these people are hypocrites, right? Cause you could donate, right? You could donate millions and millions and millions of dollars and you could even ensure that all that money actually goes and you did good and you did an impact and you did such a change. But how, help me, help me, help me understand this. How does if you have all this wealth, right? Let's say you have fucking fifty million dollars worth of wealth, and you donate it like one or two million, right? What are you doing with the rest of those with that money? You see what I'm saying with this? Like, why? Why would an individual need so much money? It doesn't make any sense. Like, what are you gonna do with all that money? You can't. You can't use all that money on yourself. Let's be real. <clears throat> Why would an individual need a, a house with 20 fucking rooms? It, you're only one motherfucker, dude. If you got if you have family, fine. But 20 fucking rooms, like all this space that you're just not using. It doesn't make any sense, really. It just doesn't make any sense. And all this extravagant lifestyle, like just jewelry. Just the fact that people get jewelry right and i'm not saying like the, the the basic jewelry i'm talking about like millions like people spend spending more than a hundred thousand dollars on a piece of jewelry for me is just mind-boggling like why would anybody do that it's just a waste of money like just to show off just literally that's literally what it is just to show off that look Look at this shiny thing that I got and spent so much money on because I'm an asshole and I and I and I decided right to to spend all these thousands of dollars on this on this shiny thing that makes no difference to me my personality or anything right it just makes uh, it just makes me shiny instead of actually helping thousands of people in fucking need and then I'm gonna preach about how I'm a good person because I donated a, a couple million? Nah, I call bullshit on that. You know what I'm saying? I call bullshit on that. But, but, but. Just because, and, and, and I went like, I get really passionate about this. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, I'm a truth seeker. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to know the truth. I want to seek the truth. I want to work with the truth. Even if it's messy, even if I don't like it, you know, I made a video about me getting fucking triggered about a comment I got because I didn't like my take and, and whatever, you can see it. 
So I'm always looking for the truth, right? Like I want to recognize where I did wrong, but I also recognize where people did wrong. And, 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 but I'm now I want to have a different approach, right? Because after all this, I said, right, I'm going to tell you it, it rich people can be good people. This, uh, it can, they can, they can. And you're probably thinking about like, what, wait a minute, what, how? After I just explained this to you. And <clears throat> the reason is I take myself, right? Like I put myself in, in like in comparison, right? Let's take away the money and let's use another example, right? Like just me being a good person in general, right? Cause that's that's kind of like how that logic is right because if you have all this money but if you're not using it in a fucking good way then that makes you an asshole right the excess more the excess not everything because again like for me that logic was like as long as you have your basic needs and your basic luxuries because you can have luxuries just basic don't go fucking like extremely fucking overboard like have a nice house have a nice car but dude you don't need a hundred fucking thousand dollars for a fucking car bro or two million dollars for her house maybe a million now because of the inflation or whatever but you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying just just be humble just have what you need what you like but be humble <clears throat> because the excess money you don't really need that's my idea what you do with that excess money right but even then let's say <clears throat> let's say again back to the me as an example right I don't, i'm not rich so i can't use money as as the the means right let's say my good nature my my me when i want right like my willingness to actually do good same thing same same logic applies right and so you could think about it as like oh if I'm selective with who I'm good with, right? Like, if I if I at any moment am an asshole to somebody, that automatic automatically makes me a bad person. That or or not a bad person, just disqualifies me. Actually, it automatically disqualifies me from being a good person. And that's the same basis I had with rich people. Like. If you use your power, right? Like my, in, in my case, my, my goodwill or my, I don't know. It wasn't, it wasn't my goodwill. That was a more like my action, right? I don't have money. I have my action, right? So if I use my action in a way, that's not a good way, right? Like if I'm aggressive to somebody, if I can be an asshole to somebody, cause it happens, we're all human. And that's where I caught myself. That's where I caught myself. That's where I found the truth. Again, I'm a truth seeker. That's where I found it. And that's where I made the click. Oh, I'm the asshole. You know what I'm saying? I'm the asshole. Like, how can I hold somebody accountable? Like, to such an extreme when even I can't. I can't hold myself to that standard either. And I consider myself a pretty good person. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm, I'm a fucking asshole. I'm both. I can be a good person and I can be an asshole at the same time. But for me, when I looked at other people or not other people, not other people, it's more like the idea of a good person, right? Because that's like the goal. That's where I, that's the standard, right? That's the standard. When I looked at the standard, it was like, you have to be good like you can't have any any sort of asshole in you right but at the same time when i put myself to that standard i'm like i'm lacking in that sense right when it comes to my action because when it comes to money money i don't have any problems you know helping people out with money or using my money in any way and in in fact that's actually one of my main drives is that whatever i do with my life i want to be able to impact and help people in a positive way you know what i'm saying but just because i have that want doesn't mean i can't be an asshole i am and i will be not by like i don't 
I don't like I don't look forward to being an asshole. It just it's it's probably gonna happen because I'm not perfect. Right? None of us are perfect. And that's it's the same thing with rich people. It's the same thing. Like I can't like yeah, sure, ideally, right? Ideally, right? This is my argument, right? Ideally, if you have all this money and you wanna help people, then bro, just use that money to help people. After you're covered, like after you got all your shit covered and and you're set, like the, the, again the excess, like the the excess, use that in a way to help people. If that's really your mission, if you want to claim and and boost and 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 boast about being a good people, good person and all this bullshit, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it doesn't mean that if you did something, you can't show it right because that's another thing like i i do believe that if you did something good like show it you know show it not not for the not for the sense of like being compensated or be like oh look what i did so now you you have to treat me well no no not because of that more because of to inspire right and I saw this in a video the other day, but with, which they were talking about a job. They were talking about a promotion. Like, oh, if you want to get promoted and you do and you do all this hard work, but you don't tell anybody, you don't let the boss know what exactly it is that you're doing, all this hard work that you're going through and that you're doing, sorry, then how are they going to know? But then you got another motherfucker who does half the work you do but he's constantly boasting about it. He's constantly telling everybody about the amazing things that they did or they accomplished or whatever. And meanwhile, you're over here in the dark being like, look at this, look at this. Like I've done, I've done triple the amount of, of work you did. What are you talking about? You can't be talking shit. Meanwhile, they get the promotion and then you stay mad. And the reason behind this is because put yourself in the boss's position, right? Me as a boss, I see two employees. I see one employee who is, again, constantly shedding light on all he's doing. He comes to me and he's like, yo, boss, this is what I did. This is what I'm working on right now. And this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to move forward to, right? And again, he, this motherfucker is only doing half the work you're doing. But meanwhile, you're sitting in the dark. Not even, you're afraid to approach your boss. You're afraid to talk to your boss. Or not necessarily afraid. You just don't want to boast. Right? You don't want to, you, you want to stay humble. Right? Meanwhile, your boss is busy being the boss. Like, he's not, he, he can't see what you're doing. He's, he, he's not aware of what you're doing. Unless somebody else, like your supervisor or manager or somebody that might be closer to you who is actually seen, they might give them the word. But again, it you have to you have to take take it on yourself. And it, it and it's the same way with being good. Like when you do good acts. If you don't say, right? But in this case, the job was getting a promotion. You see, I'm reflecting right now as I'm talking with this. Like, it's not about getting the recognition in this case, right? It's more about showing what can be done. You know what I'm saying? Like, and at the same time, be able like this is at least what i would like to do this is what i would like to do again i'm not gonna this is my opinion i'm not gonna hold everybody to my standards and my i'm gonna hold myself or at least try right i'm gonna try <laughs> because i always say shit and you know it's hard to apply it but i i fucking lost my train of thought anyways it's just Be truth be truthful you know be truthful be truthful be truthful there is no there is no such thing as this this 
one-sided like oh i'm good and i can never be bad no that's not how it works you know that's not how it works and again like with what i was saying about it's not necessarily boasting again it's not it's not about getting recognition when you when you show or the, the good things that you do it's more about inspiring it's more about the message it's more about like spreading that type of behavior you know and okay this is what i was gonna say the way i would like to do it is like I'll, i'm gonna say like I'm, i can show like because this is one of the things i want to do here in puerto rico is i want to help people out cut their grass put their house in order like especially elderly people people who are who are in need at free free cost you know if anything they need to pay the materials at first while i get you know some income and get resources because ideally i would like to like pay for everything you know pay the paint pay the resources i have all the equipment to do the work i just need the money for the resources like what's gonna be used to get the house in order and i would love to do that you know and i have plans for that i've i've been planning to do this type of thing for a long time but i haven't exactly like it's hard you know i haven't i, I haven't had my shit together you know it, it's been hard i've been trying to run my business this is a good uh, a good uh, topic for another video but yeah it hasn't it hasn't been easy you know and right now i'm doing some changes where i think i can finally start on that track so to the point what i would do is i would you know showcase the good act but at the same time i would tell you look i'm doing i'm doing this good act right i'm doing this 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 good act i'm helping this these people but that does not make me a good person it just makes good actions it doesn't make me a good person necessarily i've done things that i am not proud of i am human <laughs> you know but i want to inspire others to be able to do the same to look to your side and see who could who could you help who could you help out who could you lend your hand to you know and and just lift everybody up lift yourselves up let's lift all each other up you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day don't get shit twisted <laughs> we're, we're all equally as bad you know we're all equally as bad there's no such thing as this ultimate fucking pure being that does no wrong you know what i'm saying we're all we're all human we're all human we're all human so at the end of the day this this video is really more about rich people right and yeah it still applies you know like it, it just because they aren't using all their wealth you know to like applying that logic which i think it makes sense you know i think it makes a lot of sense but just because they aren't doing that again doesn't automatically make them a bad person or disqualifies them from being a good person you know because it's not about that like and 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 being a good person as well is not about it's not just about helping people it's not just about like i, I don't know how to explain it like doing good acts it's not just about that it's about having compassion it's about caring it's about loving it's about you know being conscious being able to put yourself in other people's positions you know take on their perspectives take on their pain Put your own self aside for a second and be able to give priority to somebody else who's in need, even if you're in need too. 
and and this is why i was so extreme with this right because when i see it when i look at rich people and it's like i'm not rich i've never been rich right but i haven't been extremely poor either like i've been somewhere in the middle where we've just had enough money to get you know some basic luxuries you know like i had my playstation and a tv and things like that but it wasn't like <laughs> you know i always had to wait at least a year or two for the prices to go down and then i could get my console but anyway that's besides the point it like just kind of reflecting you on the type of economy that that we had like it was good but it wasn't like fucking you know <laughs> But it made me, I guess, very conscious of both sides, you know, because I know what being poor is like, but I also know what having luxury, luxuries is like. The luxuries I had weren't like that big of a deal, but I know what it's like. I know how it feels like. So same shit, bro. Same shit. The end of the day. You know, we're all just human. We're all just human. We're all just human. And again, like having so much wealth and I don't have that much, right? Like the other day I made a donation. I, I, I right now I'm selling a debt with my dad. <laughs> Because I, I bought a gift for a friend and I didn't have enough money for it. And it's just like a couple hundred dollars, really. It's not that much at all. Like, I remember, like, I, I, I could take out that amount of money, like, here. Like, like it was like it was nothing. Not that I didn't appreciate money, but it was like I had access to money. It was like a couple hundred dollars, like 500, 600 dollars. Like, yeah, it's, it's all right. It's fine. You know what I'm saying? Like, and now I'm in a position where I'm like, I'm even, I'm struggling for a couple hundred bucks. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? But, you know, I'm, 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 I'm trying to deal with that. And I was doing this job, right? Just to give you perspective. And I was doing this job where I made $70, which was pretty good for like three or four hours. It wasn't bad at all. And... I made that 70 and when I got back home, you know, I saw one of these ads that people are are in need and I've seen them a while. Like I've seen them all the time. Like it and I get pissed off because it's like stop fucking, you know, harassing me, you know, like you're fucking everywhere, bro. Like fuck, I can't help it. I can't even help myself. And I would tell them, like, I, I, I'm crazy like that. I would tell my phone, like, bro, I can't fucking help you. I can't even help my fucking self, bro. Like the fuck like as these ask these rich motherfuckers to fucking help you man i don't got no fucking money but i got home that day and instead of fighting and instead of skipping i just heard it i just heard their message and it's i just break down you know i break down anybody that has you know it's in need that's going through like fucked up or shit you know And so I didn't even thought about it. I didn't even fucking thought about it. I took $60 that, from the 70 I made and I just sent them to him. Like, fuck it. Here, motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? You need this shit more than I do. I still have some money. You know, like I didn't give them all my money. I made them pretty much all I made that day. But I didn't give them all my money because this is the thing. Like, you, 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 you gotta... If you want to help people, that's cool, but make sure that you're good first. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't sacrifice your whole being. However, again, like I have this debt and I need to pay back my dad and I need to, and I have my expenses and all this shit. You know, I'm a growing adult, but, and I really need this money. You know what I'm saying? But I had something that I, that I could, you know, defend myself with. 
I'm like, fuck it, you know, let them have it. Like, they they literally don't have food right now. They can't fucking eat right now. Like, the fuck, man? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, the fuck? The fuck is $60, man? I wish I could give them more. But that's the point. That's the point. And, and, and when I see rich people with so much fucking wealth, bro, with so much fucking wealth and, and, Again, it's not to generalize, but you know, I, like I just see anybody with 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 these fucking jewelry and these fucking cars and this fucking bullshit, and then I see a video about how they're praising them because they made this charity or, or whatever the fuck, and it's like, man, it's hard, you know, it's hard. Again, it's hard. Like I, I already know this. I already know this. It. But it's hard not to get pissed off. You know what I'm saying? It's hard not to get pissed off. It's like, where where does humanity go? Like, at what point, where does your mind go where you think it's okay? Where you think this is this is this is good? This is this this is fine. Like you're having all these luxuries and you're having all this like excess excess luxuries. This is the thing. It's not about having luxuries. The, the issue is not having luxury is the excess you know what i'm saying is the excess is it's like why why so much bro when when why are you buying like two million dollars so or so, so much money in fucking jewelry when you can just get like basic shit like look good you know what i'm saying i'm not like have your basic luxury but why the excess when you can help so much people, when you can make so much difference in the world. In fact, I would even argue, I would even argue that the fact that this world is so fucked up, it's because of that. Because rich people can't fucking find it in their hearts to, you know, to actually fucking do it and not be so greedy. And when I mean rich people, I'm not talking about basic fucking millionaires, bro. I'm talking about the real fucking rich people. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about real fucking rich people. The trillionaires, the quadrillionaires, the whatever, the people that control the world, you know what I'm saying? And the and 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 the rest that trickle fucking down. Cause all motherfuckers are included, right? Even we, even me, again, even me, even me at at, at any scale, at any scale that you're at, right? Just share, share some of your resources, share some of it. Don't give it all away. Don't give, I would say like, keep, keep three quarters to a half of your resources. Ideally three quarters, give a quarter away, give a quarter away, give a quarter away whenever you can. Because the real way we solve this shit The resource problem is by us making more resources. You don't like you're not going to solve your problem of resources by by saving your resources. You got to find a way to make more resources. So giving away some of your resources is not going to affect you as much as you think. Trust me, it's not. When I gave that money away and again, like I have this debt and all this shit, it didn't really affect me that much it affected me yes but not that much i still recovered i have some jobs lined up you know what i'm saying and i have some plans but it's all in our action like how can i make that money back and it's only 60 dollars bro like that's nothing that's nothing a couple of hundred dollars is nothing a couple thousand dollars is nothing let's be real that's nothing you have to put yourself in a position where you can acquire those resources with ease And then also share some of it. Share some of it. Be an inspiration. I'm not saying to save people because we can't save people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but to end this video, right? Even if you buy this fucking jewelry, even if you have all these fucking excess luxuries, I can't say that that makes you a bad person it is a bad action i will call you out on that it is like it's fucked up it's a bad action to take 
but it doesn't make you a bad person it's the same way doing good acts doesn't make you a, a good person doing certain bad acts doesn't make you a bad person so i'll give you the benefit of the doubt and also not disqualify you from being a good person because just because you did this act doesn't mean that you can't do good or that you can't have some sort of redemption right because if that's the case then what about me i've done some fucked up shit too i've used my wealth <laughs> in that way as well I've, I've 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 had times where i had a lot of money and it didn't give shit away you know what i'm saying it, it, i guess it's just like that you know life isn't just black and white it's not that fucking simple you know what i'm saying it's just really not that simple so Can rich people be good people? Yes. They can. <laughs> they can. And poor people can be fucking horrible people too. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? What the fuck is this bullshit? You know what I'm saying? Fuck. It's good. It's good to, to reflect. And find the truth. Again, like, I just want to find the truth. I want to find the truth. And work with the truth. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Alright. Alright.